suppose what I was thinking about is people have watched one, they've watched two, people that have watched one and two are likely to watch three, so I don't really want to show them what I showed in one and two. Buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I normally come out with like at least some kind of a plan, and today I, I don't really have a plan. I'm gonna drive somewhere and then I kind of expect people to be there just because I'm a bit late out the gate. Just a bit cruisy this morning. I'm just gonna kind of poke around a little bit, maybe fish a few different pieces of water rather than like get into a section and spend all day there. I don't really know, so like, that's how like scatterbrained I am today. All right, I'll catch up with you wherever I end up stopping first. Yo, so spot number one, surprisingly, no other cars here, so yeah, we'll have a look. River's definitely up a bit, but still clear so you can see in the edges so I think we'll I think we'll roll with this I'm just gonna cruise uh, I'll sort myself out get ready and then just yeah I mean it's still only like 8 30 so I've got heaps and heaps of time so we'll start here and see what happens Taking my time, just looking at this piece of water, and I can see a fish on that other side in the fast stuff. So I'm gonna drop back, set up, have a crack at this guy. Quite happy with that spot, it's real hard to see. Pretty sure it's a rainbow, sitting in that flow, maybe dry dropper. Doing this in the worst place. Okay, so um, what have I got today? So I've got the Helios 3 5YF in the cool olive color. Is that raining? It's starting to rain, so I'll make this quick. Uh, Mirage LT size 2 reel in the burnt orange. And then on here I've got a Scientific Angler's Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo Line in a 5 weight. In a 5 weight, I don't know why I said it like that, but it's in a 5 weight. And then onto that I've got a 7 foot floating poly leader from Orvis down to a tippet ring. And then off of there I'm going to go probably about 6 feet of 3x down to 3 or 4 feet of 4x and then probably go dry dropper to start with. All right, I'm gonna swap cameras here, guys. Sorry about that, but it's starting to rain. So I've got the uh, I've got the GoPro balanced precariously on my tripod, um, but that's okay. A bit rainy and I don't wanna get my stuff wet, so we'll carry on on this camera, okay? So yeah, I was telling you, seven foot floating poly leader down to a tippet ring, and then off of that we've got, what do we get, what do we get? Five. I'm gonna change it. It's all a bit beat up to be fair. Probably do a change anyway. So I'll just take all of that lot off. Chuck that in the old trash dash. And then we're gonna go right, fresh 3X. So this tippet is the absolute supreme fluorocarbon from Scientific Anglers. All I use now, tag ends in the hip pack. And we're gonna go five, six, six and a bit feet probably, a 3x, down to probably about three feet or 4x I'd say, to start with, be plenty. And then I'm just gonna do a blood knot between the two pieces of tippet, 4x to 3x. Oh yeah, so while I'm doing this, quick update on the boat. And they found what's wrong with the Minkota, very expensive circuit board. Um, was drowned, getting the part in for that. And as far as the engine goes, they're still, they're still pulling it to pieces. There's, there's some kind of a blockage in there somewhere which they can't find or identify. They're just having to pull the whole thing apart to try and find it and get to it and clear it and sort it. So it's just ongoing, guys. Um, I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but 
it's a lot more than I thought. You know, I thought we were out the woods and we got away with it quite cheap. Nah. You know what they say, if it seems too good to be true, probably is. So it turns out that uh, it's not a good idea to capsize your boat. Who would have thought? All right, so I'm gonna start with a dry dropper. Um, I'm just gonna put this little size 12 parachute thing on. Uh, brown thing, high-vis post. Um, Stu Superior Flies, I believe. Don't know what it's called, couldn't tell you. And then we'll go probably another three feet or so of 4X off the bend of that, down to a little nymph. And I'm gonna chuck on, put a UV, size 14 UV pheasant tail from Cat3. I do like this fly, especially when there's a little bit of color in the water. I like that UV flash, it's wicked. Again, double Davy, tag ends in the hip pack. That's a new fly, so we'll crush the barb. So there's your dry fly, down to your little nymph, a little bit of lube on the dry fly and we'll give it a go. I don't know whether I'll be heavy enough to get down to that fish, but we'll, we'll start with that and adjust if we need to. Lube that guy up. Ducked. And we're good to go. Okay, I just got a look at him from the high bank. So I've got an idea where he is. Can't see him from down here. Pretty sure I know where he is. Not bad, he's right about there. Oh, I don't reckon I'm gonna be getting down. It's pretty good. Yeah, okay, so I can see him still. Just don't think that this is heavy enough to get down to him. I like guess quite a bit of flow in there once you get down in the river. So we'll stash this for later. You know, for about three months now, I've been meaning to sort this out and still haven't done it. All right, little indicator, a couple of nymphs should be good. All right, I'm just gonna try like a little size 12 stonefly. Maybe three feet under a little indicator. I'm gonna try that to start with, just one fly. Sun's coming back out. Now I've got the rain jacket on. Pretty good. Should see that. There he is, nice. Ooh, dude, under those willows. Wow. What a, what a first run. Clear those trees now. Whoa. Nice fish. See, just goes to show, you know, it's worth changing that rig when you just, oh, when you think it's not, right just don't be lazy change it up that's a beautiful fish dude she's so strong come on get your head up get that head up and yeah, she's thick across the shoulders that's why she's so strong Whoa, dude. Nice. Well, day made, day made. Look at her, she's just stunning. fly change for the whole rig change really I could tell straight away I wasn't getting the fly down to where she was so she just wasn't seeing them don't be lazy change it over first drift boom on the board awesome let's keep going
Pretty good. Get ready. Boom. Got him. Oh, last him. Last him. I don't know why I said it like that. That was cool. That was cool. Cool eat. I'm okay with that. Found what I think is another fish, like right opposite me. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's the same fish. Somewhere about there. Got him. Oh, yes. Three casts, three eats. That's pretty good. Pretty good odds. Nice. Oh, what? Hook popped again. Oh, man. I have found another fish at the top here on the inside. It's pretty good. Should see this. Right about here he comes. I think he looked at that. I feel like he looked at that. Oh, there's the other fish. There's two fish in here. One about there. Should have seen that. There's one over there. There he is. Nice. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, just came like five feet out of the water there. He had a stone fly too, I think. Wow, that's a cool looking fish. Come on. There we go. Three. Still going down though. I don't want to go down there. Dude. That's it. That's it. Come on. Wow, cool colours. Super cool colours. Nice. Whew. Heavy. Took that stone fly. Sun's out, saw him just kind of elevate in the water and eat something like in the fast stuff at the top. And I kind of got an idea where he was. One good drift through there and he uh, ate that stonefly. All right, pack this away, crack on down. I might have a bite to eat. Day made, eh? Half an hour there of just really bad angling by me. I had my shots, I had fish in front of me, and I just fished really badly. Uh, just, I don't know, just a glitch in the matrix there, I think. 
Anyway, I've got to break the rod down. I've got a bit of a bush bash. I'm going to cut through and then hit the main part of the river and then work my way back up towards the truck this afternoon. Just had a bite to eat, had something to drink. Break the rod down, bush bash, hopefully come out in the right place and back into the fishing and just be a better fisherman. <laughs> okay, so I actually made it through that bush pretty, pretty quickly. That's what she said. Anyway, I've got here, I've got this great pool behind me, so I'm just going to nymph this blind. So I put a big indicator on and then a size 10 101 from Cat 3, 4X down to a size 14 uh, UV flashback pheasant tail again from Cat 3. Uh, now I'm just going to just prospect this water behind me, see if I can uh, pick out a bonus fish before we carry on. See what happens. I thought it was just bumping on the bottom. Left my net way down here. Come on, buddy. We've got to head down here. Is that a brown? Oh, we've got a brown. with that fish that's that's just topped the day off beautifully just a super pretty fish cool kind of crocodile shaped nose and jaw kind of looks like a south island fish in that aspect and uh yeah i always love that uh, right at the head of that pool and i was just working it and working it and working it and just you know nothing was happening and just on that one drift the indicator just kind of just real gentle like it could have just been bumping a rock and i just kind of lifted and yeah there was weight on the end and it was that guy took the um, UV pheasant tail flashback thing from Cat3. Told you, it's a great fly. Nothing. a fish no way same place it's literally just right just winding in wow no way just a baby I was literally just that was it last drift and I was winding in when I caught the bottom again nice mate nice oh yeah cool Hooks out in the net. Come here, you. Just a beautiful little fish. See ya. Get out. Get out of here, you. Nice. Just sit the back over there. All right. Moving on. Where the 
fish. Yep. He feels really wrapped up. Really wrapped up. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah, I've got to wrap around his body. And that, uh, that first cartwheel he did. I don't like doing this, but I'm on my own. So I'm just gonna have to try. Ooh, come on. Yeah. What a beautiful looking fish, huh? What a beautiful fish. Man, that was such hard work to do. We've got this strong upstream breeze, just constant. So that was making mending downstream pretty much impossible, which was basically resulting in just crappy drifts. And that fish came on like the one time that the wind died down and it got a mend in a half decent drift. And then on that first jump, he did all somersaulty and got himself all wrapped up. And then just, yeah, it was, it was, it was a bit ugly as far as landing him goes, but I just had to beach him on that nice little kind of sandy bit there which I don't like doing, but seeing as I'm on my own, that's about the only thing I could have done. But it uh, worked out well, fish swam off strong. Let's crack on. Saw him eat that. Damn it, saw his mouth go and everything. Oh. What I got from my troubles was this tree. <laughs> okay, so I just bumped into actually a few people that I don't know. Put to see uh, Cheese and Teresa and Jamie and Johnny. Had a good chat with Johnny just then. Apparently there's a couple of other guys knocking around too, so I'm just going to head back to the truck and then uh, drive somewhere after just fish a couple of pieces of water and then probably call it a day. But it's just such a nice afternoon, I don't really want to stop just yet, so we'll, uh, we'll go somewhere else. Let's see if we can get one more fish. last piece of water for the day there's one big pool uh, I'll look up the edge see if I can see anything and then what I'm gonna do is swap over to a proper straight through nymphing rig and then just fish it properly see if I can get one fish to finish on that's the plan I love it in here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, quickly build a straight through nymphing leader just to fish this pool properly, like I'm just going to take the uh, floating poly leader off, work that water really thoroughly. Hopefully, I can get one fish and we can uh, wrap this up. I won't bore you with that right now, but if you don't know how I build my straight through nymphing leaders and you're interested, I'll link that up here. You can go check that out, and that's what I'm doing right now. So, I've got about a foot of 1x to about nine feet of 3x to about three feet of 4x, it's about 14 feet to my first fly and then about 18 inches to my second fly. So my point fly is a UV flashback pheasant tail from Cat 3, same one I've been using most of the day for nymphing and the good old 101. Adjustable indicator on there with the big tubing. And yeah, let's fish this pool.
awesome. Stoked. What a fish to finish on, eh? I'm really happy about that. That was worth that last little relocation. And that's what I'm going to sign off on. Really cool day, amazing river, some, some really, really good fish. Today was the first day I was actually hot today. This afternoon I was actually hot for the first time since I could remember. All right, I'm going to go back to the truck. I'm pretty sure I've got an old warm beer knocking around in there somewhere. So I'm going to drink that and then go home. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. All that good stuff. Have yourself a top weekend. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.